That's all I got tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Christopher Pippen. This is Joseph E. Lee, killing it on the violin. We'll see y'all later. Yeah! Yeah! All right, how about that? That's Mr. Christopher Turpin with Joseph E. Reed. It's being a team right there. All right, that's what we're all about. Teamwork, beauty watching, 20th anniversary. All right, next week we got coming up, we got the relics coming up next. If they want to come jam with us, then we'll ask some questions in between. So uh, the next question we're going to have on our uh, questionnaire here. What 1987 Nintendo Entertainment System video game gave you the fight of your life with the code 007-373-5963? Mortal Kombat Street Fighter. What else do we got? What original Nintendo Entertainment System from 1987, what game gave you the fight of your life with code 007-373-5... Punch out! There you go! You win a free NASCAR diecast race car, Matt Kinsless, Bear, Alka Seltzer, Alka Seltzer Plus, Aleve, uh, Collector's Edition. Oh. Yeah. All right, our next question, we're gonna ask a few more while the relic's set up. Now, let's see here. What head football coach invented the face mask? What head football coach invented the face mask? He's no longer alive. He came up with two football teams. What head NFL football coach invented the face mask? Paul Brown! Paul Brown! And an AOL disc. That's right. You get high speeds with that. Unlimited AOL for free. That's AOL 9.0. We got that in the mail. If our address is on that, throw that in the trash, actually. Hopefully that's not the case. So AOL CDs, free internet. That's what we're giving out at UniWatch. All right, next question. Wrestling, near and dear to my heart. What year did, David, did actor David Arquette become WCW's World Heavyweight Champion? What year? 1999 was close? 2000, yes, that's right! The next question! Yes. You win a Slim Jim? Yeah, it's not, it's not even worth walking up here for this. And uh, I won't mention that team because that team's got the color we don't yeah, make. This too, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. So you're going to win two packs of cards. You win uh, some Cincinnati Reds cards and some Minnesota Vikings cards. Yeah, yeah. This is your right Yeah, or I can move it, you know, wherever. Okay. Let's go. Let's wait. Come on, move it over there. Yeah, let's wait for you to All right, this next question we're going to ask for you. Major League Baseball umpires are required to wear what colored underwear? Major League Baseball umpires are required to wear what colored underwear? Black! Black! Yes! There we go! Yeah! You, win a and you win a pair of John Madden's authentic underwear. John Madden wore these underwear in a 1975 game against the Houston Oilers. And you win that. That is your gift. John Madden's underwear, everybody. All right. Hopefully they've been washed since then. Yeah, they're lucky. Athletes don't believe in washing stuff. That ruins the luck. So that is an unwashed pair of John Madden's underwear from a 1974 exhibition game against the Houston Oilers. That is a fun fact, everybody. Okay, next question. What NFL team has only one logo on their helmet? Let me see something. What NFL team? Steelers, you already watch. Snap into a slim drum. <laughs> also got a cassette of Ray Stevens' Greatest Hits Volume 2. <laughs> volume 2. Such classics on here as, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. You got Mr. Businessman. You get the haircut song. Jeremy Peabody's Polly Unsaturated, Quick Dissolving, Fast Acting, Pleasant. Tasting Green and Purple Pills, that's a real song title. 
and Mama's in the Sky with Elvis. So fantastic. That is on the highest definition you can get sound quality nowadays, I hear. So definitely make sure you rewind that with a pencil. That's how you're going to have to rewind that. All right, this next one we're going to have for you. What NFL team has no logo on their helmets? Brown. Brown. Well, if you need two things, there's only one there. Right, this is, you're going to get re-gifted. This is the Jane Fonda Complete Workout on VHS. This was given back. So make sure that you rewind that also with a pencil. And there you go. She's, yeah, she's still, she's still doing it. Grace and Frankie, season seven, baby. Woo! All right. What Russell Walker... Excuse me, I just gave the answer away. All right, everybody. I gave the answer away on that. All right, so I won't give the answer away this one. Here we go. What professional wrestler, what professional wrestler started his career as a catcher for the St. Louis Cardinals farm team? You did. Macho. Macho. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Macho. 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 2015 gumball helmet. Those are a little bit newer. You, you didn't have to put stickers on that. So I'm just up here. I, I, I don't have the arm. We got the relics coming up. All right. All right. We'll ask a few more questions here. What football team has the most retired numbers? What football team? What NFL team has the most retired numbers? I hear Patriots, I hear Broncos. Green Bay is close. 49ers. 49ers, what else we got? Bears! Bears! There you go. Are you in Army versus Lafayette, West Point, New York? That's a vintage calendar for the 2019. That's from Evansville Flannels. High dollar stuff. All right, everybody. That's cool. All right, so next one we're going to have for you. What baseball team does Michael Jordan play for in the film Space Jam? Bear. Sox. Yeah, Alabama Bears. Alabama Bears. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you win a Colorado Rockies gumball helmet. The seed's a little scratched. I'm sorry about that. But sometimes you come with that. So I apologize for that. Those clothes, that looks good. There we go. All right. Hey, that was a baseball helmet for a baseball question. All right, I didn't even mean to do that. That's awesome. Okay, this is a fun question. What color were tennis balls before Wimbledon made them fluorescent yellow in 1986? Okay, everybody, who thinks that they got that first? Let's all be fair. We go, with Jason. First up, his hand up. Is anybody else seeing besides Joseph? Jason's gonna win a pack of Chicago White Sox baseball cards from Bowman and Tops. People like Alex Fernandez. Let's see who else is on there. Uh, Lance Johnson played outfield. There you go, Lance Johnson card. Everybody's dream for Christmas coming through. There we go. So, all right, this is a fun one. Uh, everybody knows the answer to this probably. What quarterback is best known for the butt fumble? Nobody knows the answer to this, actually. All right. What what quarterback is best known for the butt? You've won too many. You've won too many. Okay, you want. All right. There we go. 